Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. I keep forgetting to do the intro, <laughs> so I'm on temper. What you're about to watch is me heat treat these knives. These two came out straight, so it's back in temper. And this one needs straightened, so I put uh, washers under each end and then clamp the middle. That way I can straighten it. So back in temper. Now the one I thought was paper was actually dike of my left on it and it bubbled up like a hamon, like clay does. And that's the one that actually comes out to a 63. All right, let's just roll the footage. Oh yeah, if you watch me on Instagram, you'll see this mount I put up. It's brand new. <laughs> All right, the oven's at 1500 degrees. I put a new mount on the ceiling for this one. <laughs> it should capture the quench and everything, but uh, yeah, it's good at 15. Well, I built this mount, <laughs> it got up to 1500, so. 15 minutes, 52, 100. Woo! Oh good, we only went down to 1455. Yeah man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Been in there 15 minutes. From now, after this one, I'm just gonna show them dunking. It's just gonna be quick and then probably do bearings while I'm tempering or something. Bearings on my other folder that is. <laughs> Glad I cleaned this shop up. <laughs> Here we go. This is 52 100 and no hormones or nothing, just straight on in. Yeah. I got, I have to do each one separately and keep them by the handles so I don't mess up which knife is with which. <laughs> 52 100, I never put an anti scale on because it, you know, it's a slow quenching steel, it only seems to mess it up. We got to put paper towels over here. There we go. My glove. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, see, all comes right off. Just a little bit of scale right there. Boom. Yeah, man. All right, let's get another one in, then I'll be back. All right, see you in 15 minutes. All right, our oil's down to 122, 121. Yeah. Let's get our gloves on and get this bad boy out. And do the last one. And we'll get it in the temper. <laughs> this one still had the paper on it. I couldn't get it off, but that's all right. <laughs> Probably a little bit of glue too. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, surface ground them a little bit, but you never know. Oh, this is the one with the paper on it. I guess that other one was just glue. <laughs> Here we go. Glad I remember to take the smoke detectors off. <laughs> I'll turn the oven off. Let it cool down, then we'll go test these. All right, blade one's like right out of 65, so we should be good. Yeah, man. The second one looks like it's out about a 63. Uh, I, I'd like it to be like a 65 or 64, but 63 will do. Boom. Just a little bit over 65, so I'm happy with that. So the second one must not have soaked enough or something, but it's over, it's a 63, so, you know, we're tempering down to 60, so we'll be good. So I'm gonna start working on the bearings for these while that's in temper and all that. And uh, I did one knife that kind of had bearings in it, but I tore it apart because uh, it just wasn't working. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get this down just a little bit better. Yeah. We got two to screw up here. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. So here's what I'm doing now while everything's tempering. I'm making holes so I can put bearings in here. Now the bearings are like 0 0.06, but I'm going down to like 0 0.052. The only problem is, look, every time I have to do this, I have to pull this up, pull the end mill out, 
take the blade, and what I do is I take a quarter inch, because this is quarter inch, you know, put the quarter inch in here, I'm pulling down, because this is a nice tight fit, but I'm not using the drill side, I'm using the back side, because I know that's quarter inch. And then we lock it down, and we have center. Now we pull that out, and back to the end mill. So I have to do this twice for each one. I'm trying to figure out if I can buy, figure out some kind of jig to build where, you know, if I can get center once, then I would only have to, you know, do this once. That would, that would at least cut it in half. Now if I can figure out where I can put a jig in every time and it would work, I wouldn't even have to do this. And that would cut out a lot more time. So here's what I do. Since I got my DRO, I run it. And right when I hear it touching, I zero out and I go to point zero five two. Now see, if I can find a jig, I can just flip it over and go right back to it. But now I gotta take this out and do the whole thing over again. <laughs> All right, I, I thought I'd show that. I'll come back when we're on titanium. Here we go with the lock bar. I just gotta make sure I put the inside in, you know, where the pin is. So we hit it there. Now this is half inch. The other one's like a 27 64.043 is what it actually is, so. I might be wrong with the 2764s, but I think that's what it is. So here we go. We'll just do the same thing over, center it out, put it back, and then, but this one we're only going to 0 0.02, cause that's what the washers are. Cause uh, titanium's not hard enough, so you need the washers to stop the bearings. At least that's what Ecom Nod's video said. <laughs> so I'm taking his word for it. Then I like to take the washer and put it in there just to make sure it's a teeny bit proud, so that's good. So I'm gonna do the other one and I'll meet you back and uh, we'll see how it looks. Boom, there we are. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put some more relief on this because you can see as I try to close it, the lock bar is pushing over here and making a hit. So, <laughs> yeah, it's all loose and, and it's on both of them. So, yeah this one is making it lock up and all that stuff so but uh yeah i think the blades are ready for heat treat well i'm gonna pre-grind the bevels so i can put clay on it and all that and then uh yeah we'll see where we're at break time <laughs> all right temper's done so i'm just waiting for those to cool out and uh check it out i might be learning i already cleaned up after all my stuff <laughs> Let's just hope we can keep it up like that. I tend to get uh, carried away and not clean up. It's nice in here. I'm not used to having so much room to walk around. Let's start some bevels. I got my center lines drawn out and all that, and uh, I'm just gonna break the 90s. I had to make a jig, you know. These little, hold, trying to hold a little thing like that, I just can't do it with my big hands. If you saw Instagram, you saw my joke, so I won't repeat it. <laughs> put the clamp on the bottom <clears throat> I thought it would lock in over here but it hits all right let me put a 50 on here it's only gonna be like a minute or two I'm not gonna do like a full video of grinding I got a whole bunch of playlists on grinding bevels grinding bevels for beginner all that and I'll put uh, one of the two up here
Those blades are ground in. Yeah, man, we're good to go. So these came out real nice and straight for me after temper all that. Tomorrow we'll be putting them on the surface grinder and uh, that'll probably be part of the next vlog and finishing these up. And while I'm doing the Dexter knives, I'll make sure to put clay on this and all that. I like to let it dry overnight. It just seems to put a better hormone on it for me. I don't know, it's probably all in my head. Anyway, you know, leave some comments. Let me know what you think about this vlog idea. Is it good? Or do you like the long videos where I go into detail about every little aspect? But uh, I'll make sure to put the beginner playlist right here. If you're a beginner, you want to learn all about knife making and every part of it. Down here, I'll put the rest of the vlogs. Up here, I'll put the subscribe button. So make sure to subscribe, like. Down here is my website. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day. And as always... Take it easy.